following for you all morning long. Right now, traffic remains at a standstill in Ann Arbor as all lanes of eastbound M14 between 94 and Barton Drive shut down for a terrible crash. MDOT estimating it could be three more hours before the road reopens. Two semi trucks collided early this morning. Come take a look at this. Just a horrific scene. It created a string of issues. Hazmat crews have been trying to clean up diesel fuel from contaminating the nearby river. You can see it right there. This is a live look of the mess right now. And 7 Action News reporter Matt Smith in Ann Arbor to tell us about the number of issues taking place. Matt. Well, here on the banks of the Huron River, you can actually see both sides of one story. Just off to the side here, I can see where that semi truck crashed earlier in the day, catching fire and causing one person to die. And down here closer, we have a look at this buoy, this boom, if you will, that's meant to absorb all that diesel fuel that fell into the river as a result of the crash. Beneath M14's eastbound lanes, you can hear the diesel dumping into the Huron River work is being done to clean that up and keep the diesel and oil from making it down river. But up top is the real story. A man losing his life in this crash. Driving by up top, a burnt smell hanging in the air. Wafts of that spilled diesel mixed in as well. But rewinding back to 445, you can tell just how frantic this all was. Semi is on fire. Occupant is still inside. Timeout 445. Moments later, before this entire semi turned up to this burnt up mess, you hear the first crews arriving, rushing in. Traffic is shutting down right now. I'm just trying to confirm on the driver. The cab's fully engulfed right now. I'm told the man inside would die quickly. Police not yet detailing who it was that was behind the wheel. What we know is that two semis were involved. The vehicle that was hit, seen here, took much less damage. That driver walked away. The other wasn't as lucky. By the time we have got there, it was 100% involved and completely unsurvivable. Access was a big issue, of course, uh, because it was on a bridge deck, so our vehicles had to go and make a turnaround and come back to the incident. The cleanup continues here along the river, and of course, Michigan State Police will handle the crash scenario. What exactly led up to it? They will determine that information. We'll update you as more of those details come out on WXYZ.com. Along the Huron River in Ann Arbor, I'm Matthew Smith, 7 Action News.